Hi, I'm Kat Sandin, Product Marketing Manager at AppFire. In this video, I'll show you some of the top new features in our most recent release of Graphis Diagrams for Confluence version 3.2. Quick reminder, Graphis Diagrams comes with six handy macros that allow you to create dynamic diagrams and flowcharts right within Confluence. First up, we've added over 20 templates based on common use cases to get you started with quick and easy diagram creation. Within the Graphis, Graph, Digraph, and Flowchart macros, you'll notice a new dropdown for templates. With the macro body empty, simply choose a template and then customize it with your data. We've also added a new layout parameter that includes some of the most extensively used Graphis layouts. Simply select one of the layouts from the dropdown to define how your data is displayed. Another helpful new addition is the ability to pull in Graphis files from a URL. Within the macro editor, you can specify the URL, a username and password if needed, a value for a connection timeout, and file encoding. Admins can restrict this feature by enabling a setting that will only allow certain whitelisted URLs to be accessed. For those that want to optimize page performance and space consumed, use the new attachment versions to keep parameter to set a limit on how many attachment versions will be saved to your page. Once the limit is reached, the oldest version will automatically be removed and the newest will be added. The next new feature allows you to create diagrams from other macros nested within the graph, digraph, flowchart, and graphis macros by enabling the render wiki markup and body parameter within the macro editor. A few more notes about this release. Graphis Diagrams is now a data center approved app that has been tested for performance, reliability, and scalability. We've also made some improvements to the navigation and configuration page for admins, so be sure to read the full release notes to learn more about that. Our team is excited for you to try out all of the new features in this release. So if you're already using Graphis Diagrams, simply upgrade to the latest version. And if you haven't tried it out yet, head over to the Atlassian Marketplace and check it out. Thanks for watching.